this morning we've now launched the new for 2014 Cobia 201 center console. If you take a few minutes, I'd like to walk you through the boat. This is the very first one, uh, first boat off the line. We're about to introduce this next week at our annual dealer meeting. And uh, again, I'd like to take a few minutes and take you through the new for 2014 Cobia 201 center console. Starting in the bow area, you see like all Cobias, all flush hardware, oversized, big beefy cleats up here. Um, every boat needs an anchor locker. This has a nice size anchor locker for a 20 foot boat. You've got, an, you've got an anchor hanger in here. So the anchor actually hangs. It's not laying down in the bottom of the boat. Plenty of plenty area here for your chain and your road. You can put a, a, an awful lot of it in here. Um, as with all of our product, compression latches on all the hatches. As you see, when I put it down and, and, and dog it down, it compresses the lid down on there. So it makes a nice, tight, watertight fit. Um, as with all Kobe's, as you can see, this is a great feature. People love this. Um, a, a completely clean, flush handrail all the way to the bow. This, this starts way in the back here, goes all the way forward. So you have something to hold on to wherever you are in the boat. Up here, nice area. Um, I'd like you to take note on this boat, especially how deep this boat is. I mean, I'm six feet tall, you can see. A very deep boat for a 20 foot boat. It, it's real deep up here. Lots of fiberglass around you, very beefy. Um, up front here, you have the option, optional cushion package, which is great. Great area to sit. You see the cushion here. Uh, cushion here, you got back bolsters here, so you can sit back. It makes it very, very comfortable. Up here, you have a removable piece. This piece actually removes for full access to the bow if you're working the anchor or working a big fish or something. Um, you have full access to the front of the boat. Um, you can see now there's, there's lockers on both sides. These are both locking, rod, locking boxes here. Uh, you see they open up. Very deep gutters, very watertight, uh, with, you know, and you can use it for a fish box if you'd like. Uh, just a great all-around storage area up front here. Um, but again, you know, you have drink holders up here. Just a real nice place on the boat to sit when you're cruising. Uh, makes it very, very comfortable. Uh, moving aft on the 201 center console, you'll see this one has the uh, this one comes equipped with the optional T-top, which is nice. I'd like you to take note just how beefy this really is. I mean, a lot of boats you see in this size range real small OD pipe. This is real heavy stuff. Um, all mounted all mounted into backing plates on the floor, metal backing plates. Very, very secure, but just a, a nice all around piece. On all of our tops, we use a Weblon material, which which in my opinion is, is a lot better than the Sombrella material. Uh, holds up in the sun a lot better, actually gives you better shade coverage, nice and cool. You can see how we string it on. As with all of our, all of our uh, T-tops, they come, they have the outrigger plates in it. If you want to put outriggers on the boat, you can certainly do that also. Uh, console is a great area on the boat. As you can see here, you have a seat. You can actually put two people here if you really want to. Um, this also acts as a second as a cooler. You've got a nice drink cooler here. Uh, works very well for that. Nice backrest. Uh, please also take note of our, of, our, of our upholstery. We're very proud of our upholstery. We built it all in-house. Uh, you can see this is a two-tone upholstery. Uh, very nice, all double stitched, just just real nice stuff. Well, we moved aft to the to the center console portion of the new Cobia 201 center console. I'd like to take a few minutes and point out a couple things on on the console. As with all Cobias, as you can see, we leave a very large area for mounting electronics. Most everybody's installing electronics these days. You got to have an area that's that's large enough. You have to have enough real estate on the console to do those things. You can see here, you could actually fit a, a, a 12 inch or a 14 inch machine on here if you really wanted to. Most people are going to do a seven or a nine inch, but you got plenty of room to do so. VHF radio, stereo, whatever, however you want the boat equipped. Uh, Yamaha gauges. This boat is this boat is rigged with the Yamaha F150, which we think is the perfect package. Um, as with all Cobia center consoles or all the Cobia line, um, a completely backlit LED switch panel. This actually backlights, and then when you engage when you engage one of them, uh, they actually light up on the end, so you can actually see what's what's engaged and what's on here. Uh, you can see you got a nice command center here. Everything's well within reach. You got plenty of room between between the leaning post and the steering wheel, so you're not jammed up against it. Binnacles are very well within reach. Um, as with all the consoles, you can see this is very very comfortable. We have a toe kick here, and we also have a footrest. This makes it nice not only for the passenger but for the operator of the boat. Um, you can kind of lock yourself in here. You can stand here with your feet under it. Um, you can sit on the you can sit on the leaning post. The leaning post actually has a footrest on it folds down so that makes it comfortable especially for the passenger sitting here you, your feet aren't dangling hanging over where it makes it uncomfortable you also have a nice little storage area in here a little glove box you know wallet keys cell phones those kind of things 
We have a large area on top of the console also. This one came with a, with a compass. You can you know, put charts up here. You can mount electronics up on top if you'd like. Also, you have nice hand holds here at the console uh, that come off the T-top. Again, very beefy, big OD pipe here, um, but a great place to hold on. You know, you got you to have a place to hold on um, and just works extremely well. Uh, we feel this console is very well laid out. Uh, obviously, this one has a, a, a large door in it with a uh, porta potty. You actually can walk that in there. The console is completely finished. Uh, it's, a, it's a finished console inside. Very, very roomy. Um, you can actually get that in there and, and use the porta potty um, as this one is equipped. Um, you see here, this is the standard leaning post. Very comfortable. Again, the, the two tone cushions. You have rod racks here. Again, the footrest. This will fit a 100 quart cooler underneath of it. Um, so if you want an additional cooler on the boat, you can certainly do that. But very, very comfortable. I mean, the, the back the backrest hits you where it's supposed to. It's not up too high. It's not down too low. It's very, very comfortable. So like I say, this, this area works out very well on this boat. Um, I think you'll find this very, very comfortable on this new Cobia 201 Center console. We've now moved back to the, to the aft end of the Cobia 201 Center console. First thing I'd like you to take note is the room here. Remember, this is a 20-foot boat. A lot of 20-foot boats in this, you know, in this size range, you don't, have the, you don't have much room back here if you're fishing or working or whatever, even just cruising. Uh, take note, I mean, plenty of room back here. I can turn full width and walk across the boat. You're not crammed in back here like you're on a lot of them. Um, real neat feature back here, something, something that, that uh, we've incorporated into this brand new boat, um, is the aft seating. This is important. This is the most comfortable place to ride in the boat. You want to have a place where you can sit back here, especially for your passengers. Uh, I think this is very innovative. Our engineering department came up with this. I think this works very well. As you can see, if you're fishing, you got an area here. You can put a cutting board on here if you like, however you want to do it. With this little little switch here, it flips up. So you've got a great seat here. You can fit two full-grown adults here. Uh, real nice. And here at Kobe, we're all about access. You go to a lot of these boats, and, and a lot, especially in this size range, and you really can't get into your bilge area. You can't get to your batteries. You know, it, it's very, very difficult to get to things. We're all about access. I want to show you that. If you look here, you see this flips down. There's your batteries right there. There's your bilge pump. There's your live well pump. There's your fuel system. Everything is right there. So it's very easy to get to. Um, you know, if you have, you know, eventually you'll have to change a bilge pump or a live well pump over the life of the boat. Very, very easy access. The dealers like it. The, the customers really, really like this. Um, your batteries are right there. You need to change that battery, boom, pull it out, it's right there. Also, take note of this, this is kind of a neat feature. It, as you see, it folds down like this for full access, and then you have a quick access here. It also folds up, so it folds both ways. Very easy to get the things here. And again, this folds down completely flush, locks in place, you're good to go. Uh, also, take note of the live well. I mean, this, you know, people are going to fish this boat. Um, we're, we're very serious about our live wells here at Maverick. Um, you can see here, this is a, you, we'll back this up with some pictures, but you can see this is a huge live well for a 20-footer. You can see just how deep this thing is. I mean, I'm, I'm in the bottom there, it's up to my knee. Um, it's painted ice, it's got an ice blue color to it, which supposedly calms the bait. Um, it works very well. A very deep live well, you can store a lot of bait on this. All boats need drink cup holders, you got a couple of those back here. Uh, right here, so when you're sitting, you got a place for your cup holders. Um, Battery switch access. A lot of battery switches, you have to go look for them on the boats. On this boat, it's right here. Off and on, three position battery switch is right there. Also, I'd like you to take note on this boat are the rod boxes. You have undergone rod boxes on both sides that will store, you can store you know, your rods, your, 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 uh, your, your cleaning brush, whatever, your gaffs, whatever. And what I, what, I, what I really like to point out is that these are fiberglass. A lot of boats you see use a plastic rod box that you know that breaks over time it's just kind of cheap looking these are a full fiberglass undergun or rod storage box that, that works very well um, you can also see you got a pass through here a walk through transom the standard boarding ladder it's very easy to get on and off the boat um, a complete walk through here you can see you can walk back right back to the transom get to everything uh, note that this boat is equipped with the Yamaha four stroke 150 which we, we think is the perfect match for this boat. The boat will run, we ran this boat yesterday, it runs mid 40s with a 150 and the economy is incredible. Um, just a great all around package for this boat, very economical. This motor's been around for quite a while, it's a proven motor, um, it just does a great, great job. We're here we are this morning on the Copia 201 Center Console, this is brand new for 2014, we'll be debuting this boat next week. Um, coming to a dealer near, near you very soon. So do yourself a favor, if you're looking for a boat, a nice economical, deep, uh, very deep V, 20-foot center console, do yourself a favor and take a look at the Cobia 201 center console.